Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Scorpion. I am here playing Defiance 2050 and the purpose of today's video is going to showcase my DPS, the loadout, the weapons I use, the mods I use, the synergy crystals, and the class perks. Now this is, like I said, this is just going to focus on my current build, my loadout, this video is requested from a lot of clan mates, um, friends, and also some people on the forum. And, you know, we're just going to jump right into it. And hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to hopefully fight a Scrapper Major and a Dark Matter Major. That way you guys can get a pretty good visual of the amount of DPS that I can dish out from everything that's already is in the game so what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna jump right into it so let's just right away now this is just my my setup this is the only thing I will ever run on this game at least for the moment because everything that I have on right now is in just my opinion the top of the DPS chain and I want to get this video out there so everybody else can get a better understanding that no, it's not hacks, no cheating, no, you know, abusing glitches or, you know, any of that nonsense. And, um, so the class that we are going to be using and focusing the DPS build on with my setup is going to be the Crusader class. Now, I know. There's a lot of hate with the Crusader class. People hate it. Oh, the melee weapon sucks. Listen, stop listening to everybody and listen to me. This is coming from the guy who's who could pretty much be on top of the leaderboard anytime he wants. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the Crusader class. Yes, it must be the Crusader class to maximize your DPS. So. If you do not have the Crusader, get it and max him out. If you don't have it, I suggest you buy it. If you don't want the Crusader, the second best class to go to is definitely the Engineer. But we'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. So just bear with me guys, this video might be a little bit long. But hopefully this will be just long enough for everybody to understand how the hell do you maximize your DPS for Defiance 2050 in its current state? So what we're just going to do now is, like I said, Crusader class. I'm just going to go ahead and respect. Start from the, the uh, beginning and put your points to where you see me putting mine. And I'll explain the why after we're done. So hammer time. Just max that out. Okay, so let's go over here and look at... What we got? Okay, so we want Juggernaut. I usually just put two points in the Juggernaut. And then for Invigorate, you put the remaining points in there. Do not put the points into Vortex because the skill is really horrible. And, you know, Blitz is also horrible as well, but it still has a unique and funny feature. So I'd rather have that. Now, here's another thing. Onslaught. Yes, it increases your damage. And no, I I would say no. I've tested this out. It, you can you can barely see the difference in the damage for that 10 seconds. And you actually waste maybe four or maybe three of the seconds to where you could just be focused on continuously firing your damage through all the all their uh, perks. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip long slot. It's not worth it. Um, so we're going to put two points into hardened. And for 42, this is to reduce armor repair and shield regen delay. And you're just going to put the three points into there. That way you get a little bit more health. And then you get an extra recharge. Makes you a little bit more tanky. Now bulldozer just max it don't even don't worry about grit fearless it's not about that you're here for dps 
The next one you want to put into is Meteor Smash. This bulwark thing, it's cool, but no. I'm here for DPS. Max out number four. All right. So there you go. This is the the stats you need to put on for your Crusader. Hammer time three, Juggernaut two, Invigorate number three. Then you want the max out Blitz. Two for Harden and three for Fortitude. Max out Bulldozer and then get Meteor Smash. All right, so now we're going to close that window. And now we are going to go to the loadouts. Now, in order for you to achieve the maximum DPS for this build, you have to be a power rating of 5,000 or at least close to it. And you have to be level 50. Well, if you're close to 5,000, you should be level 50. So make sure you're at least close to 5,000 with your power rating and your level 50. So the next thing we're going to look at is the weapon. So if you look here on the right side of the screen, this is a precision retaliator. This is a weapon that was given to people, you know, or if you got lucky, I'm just what I want to say. If you got lucky from one of the boxes from the last uh, mother load event, they were given out, you know, the precision stuff and you know I, I guess I lucked out and I got this precision retaliator I mean you can read the stats on it 15% crit multiplier non-critical hit supply tempered nerves for five seconds and increases accuracy recoil critical kills increase reload speed by 25% for two seconds reloading grants a 15% damage boost for five seconds now sadly this there's probably more on here but as you can see here, I can't scroll the list down. But this is the current weapon that I'm using. It's a precision retaliator. And it's only a five star. It, it is not a prime, but it still has all the stats on it. Um, so I'll go further into the weapon. Let's go to enhanced weapon. And let's look at let's look at the mods that I have. Okay, so I have a legendary fire rate for the stock. I have a damage, a legendary damage barrel. Um, the magazine I have reload, sight I have a legendary accuracy, and now with this precision stuff, you only need four. You only need four mods on there. So what I did was, since I didn't, I was actually looking for the ammo, uh, the health ammo to put on there, and it didn't work out right, or I didn't get it. So I ended up just putting a standard one on there and it, it actually worked out pretty good. So that's, these are the mods that I got. They're all Precision Torment. And then for the secondary weapon, it is the Prime Precision SS2 Bolt Action. And this is actually the, the number one best bolt action sniper rifle in the game period at least for now because it's you know it's a prime precision it's got full 10 stars and then let's go to enhanced weapon the stock is just fire rate the barrel is a legendary damage magazine reload accuracy and again i'm going with health damage i'll explain to that later so that's what i have for the Crusader setup. Um, now, as far as you know, shields and all that, it's kind of it's kind of a given. You kind of you have what's been given to you until you get something better. But right now, this is what I, I'm using: a hardened ironclad. I could use this marksman respark that's 5,000, but this shield is actually pretty garbage. Regardless of whatever the stats is saying, I, I could care less. It's garbage. So I'm using the hard ironclad, and for the grenade, I believe I'm using this green uh, chemical grenade. Okay, so that's the setup for now. Um. Oh yeah, and we need to come over here to the synergy which is the crystals now this again is also another item that came with the event from the mother load 
I have all six uh, Predator crystals, and you can see here all the stats here are on the right side of the screen. 25% fall off, deal 9% more damage to enemies 30 yards away. Critical kills cause, or crit yeah, critical kills cause enemies to explode, dealing damage in a six yard radius. Damage increases per tier. We don't really care about that. Uh, number four is taking damage increases aim accuracy and recoil by 18% for six seconds. That's a beautiful stat. Number five is deal 29% increased damage to enemies above 70% vitality, and the max stacks are 20. Adding a stat resets the time and missing a shot will remove all stacks. So the thing is, you want to try not to miss those shots, but you know. It's defiance, things move around a lot and it happens, but you're still dishing out a lot of damage. So let me go over here to view Synergy Matrix and scroll all the way down to the bottom here where you see your Synergy, well my Synergy, and I'm only currently at a tier 3 for the Synergy. Uh, all the Predator Crystals I have so far are all polished, except for one, one is a Flawless. Um, I'm still trying to work on leveling that out. I'm hoping that I can get up to tier 4, which requires a thousand. Um, let me go back here. You can see I still have this top part of this battery here to fill out. And I'm only at 820 and just about to max that part out. So I'm pretty sure after I unlock this part of the battery, by the time I fill all of this out, I'm pretty positive that the... Uh, the skill will go up to tier four, and my stats would be would become even more damaging. Okay, so now that we got the weapons, the mods, the class out of the way, let's go and see if we can hunt down some uh, arc fossils. Okay, so here's a a dark matter one, which is perfect. Here's a scrapper. All right, so let's go over here to this dark matter one so you can see. Okay, so first of all, you gotta remember, we're fighting dark matter. So that means I need to change my loadout. Yes, I can use my precision retaliator, which kills them pretty quick. But I have another weapon here. If I keep scrolling, where you at, baby? Right here, I have a precision carbine with all the you know pertaining mods to it so I will exchange my sniper and put that on there and just head right over to the dark matter and just show you the damage numbers and show you how fast I'm going to melt everything over here now the uh, submachine gun that I'm using is precision I also have the electric mod on it I also want you guys to keep in mind that if you are at Arcfall by yourself, things are going to tend to die really quick because you're the only person there. Now when more and more people show up, the enemies scale and get higher and higher difficulty and hit harder. But once I think once you hit 5,000 power rating, the max amount that the enemies can go up to is I think 3750. Which is still not a lot. So for now, I'm just going to try to keep quiet, kill this dark matter major as fast as I can, and let you guys just watch the uh, the gameplay of it. But don't worry, after it's over, we're not done yet. We got other things to go through. So just enjoy the video. These guys are just always in the knee, uh, the ego boost. Okay, so since these guys are doing, oh, this is the last one. Okay, so we're good. I thought there were some more cores.
Now, another thing to mention, if, um... The greatest way to maximize your DPS with the Crusader class is to have two people in your group. You, you want to have a uh, combat medic and you also want a engineer class. The engineer class can drop a turret just like that one that was just on the ground. Or this one here, you stand in it, you get a quick damage boof. You see the image pop up, damage increased. And then if you get a combat medic in your group also, he gives the party a extra damage buff, which lasts an additional 10 seconds on top of all the other stuff that you're using now. And it just makes your damage just completely insane to where everybody thinks you're a hacker. And that's the goal what we're getting to. We want people to be suspicious. We want we want people to let you let them know that you're you're really overpowered. This is what I'm getting at. That's the goal. Look how easy everything melts from. It's like nothing. With this build, I, I really don't even need that EGO uh, ego boost over there. Like, look how fast he's melting. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost done this last uh, wave here before we get to the final boss for Dark Matter. That's probably... I think there's maybe one more bulwark. Alright, there goes the turret. There's the damage boost. Now watch this. I'm going to shoot one time and reload. Damage boost. We got a live one. Alright, so that's that last core. Now we're headed to the final boss to where you're actually going to see the real DPS. So, let's see here. What I'm going to do is... Should I? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my SMG and I'm going to put on my sniper. Because the damage that this sniper rifle dishes out is absolutely insane. We'll see here shortly. As soon as we clear out this first wave of dark matter, let these fools spawn so the monolith can come down, and then the e ego boost would start getting its recharge, and then we'll be ready to DPS the boss as fast as possible. Now, another thing to mention with this dark matter, you really want to try to look for a spot to where you can get to the uh, the ego boost without being too bothered with all the dark matter spawning. Okay, so the boss is down. I'm buffed. Here comes the DPS. Non-stop. Look at that. He's down. Almost down. Now he's down. They took my... Oh, come on. Come on. Get rid of him. Right, let's DPS that. Look at that. Look how fast. I I almost just killed it right there with just one full burst. Now the next time that thing drops down, I'm going to just switch to the sniper and just probably just one shot that thing as soon as he opens up. And uh, for now, I'll just, I'll just switch to the sniper so you can see the damage of the precision one. 372,418,000. I mean, the damage is just gets higher and higher. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start trying to get rid of these uh, bulwarks. Look how fast they die. Yee, yee. Dead. Sorry, bro. I can't res you. Okay, some more stuff is spawning. I'm going to just help try to clear it out. As fast as I can. 
Like, no effort. Come on, baby. Let's get rid of this guy. In the way. Okay, come on. I need this boost, baby. Come on. Here we go. Come on, oh, okay. All right. So anyway, that's that's pretty much that for the uh, the damage. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't pull the uh, the sniper out quick enough to get the last shot. But as you can see from just using the uh, the sniper to kill some of the uh, the trash mobs, you see how powerful it hits. It's really no joke, especially when you got this ego boost on. Right, let's see what this guy has to offer. Nothing. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's go over to this is Hellbugs. Here we go. Let's go over to a scrapper finale. And we'll show you, hopefully we got enough time. 15 minutes, yep. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little trick here with the engineer class. So let's just switch to engineer really quick. So people can get a little bit of understanding of how how that scrapper boss is just dying so quick. So for this, you're definitely going to need the engineer class. You're also going to need the bone saw. And be able to drop down the uh, the turret. So as soon as I get there, I'm just gonna just immediately unload the boss. He does not need to come up. He's already down. Get out of the car. Ready? Best time to do it is now. Spam all your stuff right here. Bone saw. Bone saw. Look at the damage. I mean, it takes a little bit of time to do it, but yes, you can still damage the uh, scrapper boss by using the turret and the bone saw. Now, hopefully, I could hurry up and take this thing out before they kill the arms. Yeah, just keep spamming the bone saw. It sounds like they're already getting ready to take both of the uh, arms out. My turrets are almost off of cooldown. Maybe I can, maybe I can beat them to it. I don't know. Let's pull our other turrets out. Keep the damage coming. I need to get to another spot. This should be good. Now the only thing is, with all these uh, scrappers running around, when you put the turret down, sometimes it'll start attacking them and not the uh, core. But it doesn't matter. As long as you stay in the middle and you get that damage boost and you get focused on the middle of that core right here. See the health bar on the top slowly ticking down? That's pretty much me doing it. Come on, one more reload, baby. Come on. The core is vulnerable. Come on, reload. Get it. He's dead. Right there. There you go. Done. Pretty simple. Throw down a turret. Use a bone saw. Kill it before it gets off the ground. That's it. Pretty simple. I'm going to switch back to the Crusader class because we're still not done with him. Let's see what this guy has. Um, yeah. Garbage. Okay, so let's see what else is on the list. Um, I could shoot over to the Hellbug one, but before I do that... I like to mention that there is, a, I guess you would call it a glitch or a bug. But uh, with the Crusader class, if you have the hammer time, it's it's pretty much hot bound to your, uh, your number one key. So if you tap it like this, just keep tapping it. This is pretty much what it looks like. 
Now on the other person's screen, they see the electricity, but it looks a little bit different. Kind of looks like you're walking around hacking. And all you got to do is just tap the number one key, just like you're spamming it. That's a pretty cool little thing as well. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back over here to to this hellbug major that's going on. Maybe we can get a little bit more of a better visual on the uh, the amount of DPS. I'm detecting an incoming arc fall. I have high hopes for this, but let's be careful. See, I'm not I'm not going to go to that one. Oh, that's over there. I'm pretty sure somebody's already there. Which is, should be the smart thing to do, especially especially lately. I've noticed there'll, there'll be like 10, 12 people all at one core for their, for an arc fall, and they shouldn't do that. They should definitely have people spread out. If you see like 6, 7 people at one arc fall, leave it, go to the next one. That way, you know, the core doesn't run out of time and you'll be able to fight the boss in time. Alright, so now I'm just fighting Hellbugs. I'm here solo, so everything is just going to die in one hit. Well, not everything, but the majority of the... Like, the Skitterlings will die in one hit. Now I'm constantly getting the uh, Precision Torment buff every time I reload my weapon. So I constantly have that constant damage on top of the uh, the bulldozer. The bulldozer is that red glowing effect you see around the character. Every time you hit an enemy, you have that damage boost with you forever. As long as you're hitting something. Ain't scared. I'm predicting instability in the crystal. It's gonna explode. They never stood a chance. Okay, so that crystal is done. Hopefully they're done over there, which they are. Good job. Now we Ooh. head to the finale. And this one is the mother of all hell bugs, so that means you get to see some pretty good uh critical hits with this sniper rifle. Be careful, this is gonna be bad. 
Come on, big guy. Come out of the ground. And he's dead. I definitely hit him for about 800k a few times, but I think there was, there has to be a combat uh, medic over here somewhere. I don't know who it is. Gave me that uh, extra damage, but yeah, it was beautiful. All right, so this guy's offering nothing at the end of his, so it's garbage as well. I'm not even going to stick around for the loot because. Even that's not going to give you anything good. But yeah.